be now in Minecraft. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hello, and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, Chad Johnson. This is a show that will teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Let's talk about Minecraft Bingo. It's pretty easy to understand. You're given a bingo card, and you run through a survival world where you fight mobs, hunt, and try to stay alive while finding the items on the bingo card. This map was made by Lorgan111, or 111, I forget how he says it. Originally, this map ha came out made by him, and it had a lot of limitations, like needing to use two players to make sure that your map updated, getting all the items cleared out of your inventory if you grab a whole stack, uh, only one card, it wouldn't randomize, and no reset. But all of this has been fixed in this 2.0 edition. One thing of note is that you must play on the snapshot 14W11B. If you play on any other snapshot or any other version or on a bucket server, it's probably not going to work. In fact, they basically say that it will break this game and you won't be able to enjoy the wonderfulness that is bingo in Minecraft. So let's check it out. Here we are. Uh, this is where you spawn into this wonderful little room. You can see uh, player heads of some of the creators. If you don't see player heads, it might be a sign that you're not playing on the snapshot, you meanie. So go play on the snapshot. This does have versions for one player or two player. I'm going to be playing one player, so I'm just going to go ahead and step on this, and I'm given a few uh, maps. And as you can see, this is the bingo card that I'm going to be playing. You can see gold, a cauldron, a brick up there, that's the red one, a book, and so on. Let's say I don't like this uh, bingo card, you know, it's going to be really difficult to get slime and emerald and a name tag if I'm aiming for that, uh, that second row there. So let's go ahead and click this one. This is the randomize uh, the card, and here it goes. It's going to start to change all these images around. It does take a little bit of time. Oh, it looks like the brick stayed the same. That's cool. Um, and so if you read all these signs, it said this one will randomize. This one will reset the game, so if you uh, have played and uh, you want to play again on the exact same map without resetting uh, the actual physical map, you can hit this. Uh, here are all of the people who have helped out with the map. You can see uh, a lot of people that I, I know. I know, you know, 3 2 and Traz and Jitty B and Kurt and I, I don't know who you are. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's just about it. So once, did it finish? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's 80% done. It does give you a little update. On, uh, on how far it is done. This is a huge map, so what's gonna happen is once I hit go, it's gonna teleport me uh, to a random place using spread players, uh, and this is a really large map, so it should be uh, pretty random on where I have teleported. And there we go, it's finished, so let's go ahead and hit the spread player. It's gonna fill my inventory full of maps, so just in case I hadn't loaded the map, uh, then I will have looked at it. Now, you can play this with a second player, and the map... Oh, uh-oh. Am I stuck? So, there is a bug with spread players, uh, where sometimes the game will accidentally teleport you, say, into a wall. Like, I think it's... Yep, yeah, see, I fell from a high place. So, the best thing to do is uh, you'll spawn back on top of uh, where you came from. And if you're on a server and you accidentally spawn up here, because sometimes servers act differently, walk over to this big old red... Arrow, click the button, you'll be headed right back down. And let's go ahead and hit reset. Reset. And you can see that when I died, it uh, all of my maps ran out, and it just handed me a whole bunch of new ones. So let's go ahead and click start again. Now, I haven't uh, joined a team yet because I just reset the map uh, before I stepped on this one player, so I'm going to step on this one player. And now it's going to go ahead and start the game. The whole of the map should be a white team. I'm a, I'm gonna start this game now. Let's do that, and then start the game. Go. There we go. Here we are. Um, so hopefully, spread players will work now. And uh, the objective is, of course, to find all of these items in Minecraft uh, wherever they may be. Now. To the way that this map is updated and the way that all maps in Minecraft update is you have to be in the trunk 
that the uh, map is in and uh, and then look at the map and, and basically like if I had the map in my inventory it wouldn't count I need to actually pull it out and look at it so if I find any of these items I'm gonna quickly run over that tree over there and try to break it and get some apples if I find any of these items it's actually not gonna update the map but it's pretty simple to update the map uh, once you have found an item all you have to do is toss it on the ground here and uh, What's happened is uh, he has given... Oh, I just took my inventory. Woohoo! a wonderful achievement. Um, I do have uh, a few... Uh, I have slowness on, slowness infinity, so if I try to walk in any direction, I just can't. Um, so uh, that's... There we go. Let's start in another moment. And there we go. The game has started. So let me run over to this tree and try to grab some apples from it. I totally just didn't switch into game mode to find this apple. Let me go ahead and pick it up. Boop, boop. And bam, now the game notices that I picked up the apple. Uh, it's right where my hand is, so I hope that you can tell that that is an apple way, way down there in the lower uh, left-hand corner. But to update the, the map, all I have to do is throw out one of the maps in my inventory, and I get teleported uh, to where the map is held, and then uh, that apple, look, I caught it. Uh, so, of course, you're going to run through the entire world trying to find these things. Uh, none of these need to be uh, in the nether, and that's uh, an issue with teleportation. So you don't, don't have to go into the nether. Uh, if you're worried about throwing out all your maps and then you'll never get any more maps, well, that's no big deal because you can throw them all out. And uh, when, once the game realizes that you have no maps in your inventory, it's going to give you uh, a stack back. So that's not an issue. So let's just go ahead and grab uh, these uh, last four items. So you can kind of see what happens. We need an ender pearl. There we go. Bloop. We got it. Uh, we need a, I think it was lapis. Lapis. There we go. Boop. Got the lapis. Now we need redstone and a fish. Redstone, got it, <laughs> and a fish. Totally the fastest game ever. Woo! -hoo! And we win. Wonderful. Um, of course, this is going to be a lot funner if you actually play the game <laughs> as it's intended. A pro tip: if you go to here, I'm going to go ahead and throw out an inventory to update. There we go. We got bingo. That's the that's the point of bingo. Um, it, pro tip, if you find a village or a temple, that is a really easy way to get a lot of these items. If you come across a witch hut, there'll be a cauldron in it. Um, all, and then, of course, uh, you know, all, all the other things like spider eyes and bones uh, can be gotten by attacking mobs. One more reminder, you need 14W11B Snapshot to play this game. For a download link, head on over to our show notes, and hopefully I will have published them by the time that you go and look at the show notes. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to catch future episodes, head on over to twit.tv slash omgcraft. There you'll find links to download the show in all different forms. YouTube, high quality, low quality, audio only if you uh, don't like looking at things. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.